folks. It's March 23rd, 2024. I'm in Norwich, Connecticut, walking around in a rainstorm. And I guess I can point out different things. That's the uh, courthouse. That is Broadway. I'm in a parking lot right now, but I'm going to walk up Church Street, and then I'm going to try to... The goal is to walk down Main Street. Hopefully it doesn't get too windy, because that can really throw a wrench in the gears. And hopefully everything doesn't... My equipment doesn't get soaking wet, which will also kind of destroy my video, but we're going to try our best. This is a no smoking zone. I have a funny feeling it's not going to be too many people walking around the city today because it's raining very heavily. I have an umbrella that is protecting this camera from getting soaking wet. And if that works and the wind isn't too bad, I think we can get something here. There is the former Otis Library, and that's going way, way back, probably to the late 1800s when that was built. There's that mural down there. All right, let's across the street here. We're going to go up Church Street. Get a load of that, uh, see that water rushing down right there. We got some serious rain coming down here, folks. As we slowly walk up Church Street. Why do they call it Church Street? I don't know, but there's a big church up there, so. The view down there of Norwich, that's. I believe that's Bath Street down there. Let me take a look at City Hall, see if we can get this thing in. There it is, City Hall, built in 1873, right there, in a pouring rainstorm. Here comes a car down Church Street. Here comes another one. You know something? Right over there, it says Walkway for Norwich Art Center Theater. Um, Norwich Art Center, they have a lot of plays. They have Blues on Broadway, which is a really phenomenal concert series they have featuring artists that play blues music. It's really, I've been there, it's fantastic. As a matter of fact, there's videos on YouTube, you, you should check it out. if you're into the blues, which I am. All right, historic Church Street. That's a historic structure right there. I don't know the history of it, but if you wanna go on Google and look it up, it'll tell you everything. It's not gonna really pour like crazy. As we walk, things level out a little bit. We just walked up a big hill. Things kind of leveled out over here on Church Street. It's 
it's going to be interesting to see. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how this video comes out. Let's pause here and grab some of these nice-looking houses in the pouring rainstorm. It's going to be interesting to see how this uh, video comes out. The sound. I mean, I, I don't know. It's kind of noisy with this rain on the umbrella. And uh, let me check my camera. I want to make sure that lens doesn't get wet. But it's, uh, you've got noisy cars going by and you got rain hitting the umbrella. All right, this is going to be coming soon. These Guys Brewing Company on Church Street. Really cool building. I got a feeling it's going to be a big hit. It should be. All right, more cars coming up Church Street. Let's get this. Look at these cool buildings. I love Church Street. Look at that thing right there. I don't know what it is or was, but it's really neat. All right, what is this? This is a really nice paint job. Ross Custom Switches. Wait a minute. A building permit. There's something going on around here. Oh, interesting. Another project. Whew. Yeah, let's take a look off the end of this parking garage. Just for a second, and then I'm going to get back onto Church Street. mistaken they're building apartments across the street there. Whoa. It's kind of windy. Uh, I don't know if I can pull this off without getting this drenched. Head back out to Church Street. The wind is kicking up a little bit. That's not good with an umbrella. <laughs> I don't want to be like one of those guys in the movies where the umbrella inverts and blows away. Okay, we're back on Church Street. This is definitely going to be one of the more interesting um, videos of me traveling through Norwich, basically because of the torrential rain that's coming down right now. I usually do it when the weather is much nicer. In case anybody's inter anybody is interested, this is the top of the former Dunkin' Donuts, which, by the way, is for sale right now.
Oh, oh. Stepping through some pretty big puddles here. I hope I don't get trench foot. All right, let's take a look. Here's Dunkin' Donuts, or the former Dunkin' Donuts. It's a pretty good panoramic view of this area. The beginning of Church Street and Washington Street. The cars are going up Washington. They're coming off Main Street, going up Washington Street. There's a pretty good view right there in the rain. All right, let's see here. What is that? There it is. Former Dunkin' Donuts, big parking lot. It's for sale. Catch these cars going by. I am now walking up Main Street. In the downtown, you know, the main heart city of Norwich, Connecticut. We're lucky we can get a good view over here. Let's see. All right, here's the Norwich Harbor. There it is. Thames Plaza to my left. Good parking lot there, parking garage. Let's head back out to Main Street. Wind is kicking up a little bit, unfortunately. Social Security Administration. Okay. Didn't know they were in there. Unitarian Universal Universalist Congregation of Knowledge. Right there. On this big giant staircase.
it leads down to Strange Brew Pub, which is on the right-hand side, that last brick building down there. They have live bands, and it's a really great place to go in Norwich. A lot of fun. All right, these buildings are being worked on right now. They're Water Street Lofts. Big apartments. Coming soon. Some more of the buildings across the street. Stella's New York style pizza down here on the right in the Flatiron building. Uh, they have a really, really good food down there. Let's take a look in the window. You can see in there, I don't want to... I don't want to point this thing right at anybody, but... Pizza area. There's Main Street. Push this car coming up. All right, let's cross the street. The law office over here, Kevin Wickless Law LLC, right there. Say it and Cedar Attorneys at Law, just down the way here on my left. Carbon Dragon Club and restaurant to my left. There's the old Bliss Jewelers uh, logo or Sign on the floor. Still there for all these years. Take a look in uh, the pub. Ooh. The rain is coming down. Here we got more law offices. Block, Janie, Sisley, LLC. Castle Church up here on my left, used to be the Norwich Saving Society. Shannon building across the street. It's on the floor. There's much more intensity right now. Uh, I think I'm going to cross the street here. the walk signal. And we're going to take this all away. Alright, let's 
Castle Church. Let's get a couple of different views here. I'm in the doorway of this Shannon building. Or Regan Hotel right across from us. Right there. I can't really pan up on it so you can see it better because it's going to make my camera it's soaking wet, which is not a good thing. There it is, right there, Shannon Building. Chamber, Norwich Chamber of Commerce. Reed and Hughes, right here. This is Reed, the Reed and Hughes Building. Hopefully it's going to be under development soon. It's a restricted area, danger. Signs all over the place. Some kind of a gallery. Gallery at the Wall Regan directly across the street from me. It's open. It's a pawn shop over here on my right. I'm not gonna point everything out, I'm just gonna I gotta concentrate on walking and not either falling over or walking into a giant puddle. All right, here we go. Here's the roundabout right there. There's that rotary or roundabout, depending on which terminology you want to use. Let's catch some of the people using it. There we go. The roundabout in action, right there. There's a train trestle down there. Big parking area. City Landing is the name of this little street right here. Chorito, looks like a nice business in there. Get another view of this roundabout. Tattoo parlor, Chinese restaurant, more law offices. It's an Asian market over there. Checks, cash, money gram. Comes a car right into the roundabout. Let's check it out. There it is. Jackson Hewitt Tax Service, right there. All right, what do we got across the street? Madonna Place, People Ready, Liquor World, Discount Liquor World. Take a quick look down this street. Gotta keep my eyes peeled. I want to get run over. What is that? Dollar Flash. Some kind of a dollar store across the street. Otis Library to my right. Chelsea Groton Bank. Beautiful building. One of my favorite buildings in Norwich indicating that it's 55 degrees. There it is, Otis Library. Or I should say Library. Okay. Let's keep walking. <laughs> This is wild. And the only reason I'm out here is to do video. Otherwise, I'd be sitting home with my feet up, probably reading a book or something. 
There is the former train station. Uh, the Norwich Fulton used to be down there, but they recently moved. There's a big parking place across the way there for state vehicles. This is a continuation of Main Street right here. And yeah, let's walk. Main Street, State Marshal, Tom Burke, Connecticut Pardon Team, Disabled American Veterans, John R. Morse, Chapter 10. There's a cannon in front of this Buckingham Memorial Sedgwick Post Number 1 GAR building. Again, I can't really pan up fully because it's pouring out, but hopefully I got some of that in. Another little street down here leads to the old train station. U.S. Post Office up there. Gigantic puddle in front of me, navigating my way around it as we get to the YMCA or what used to be the YMCA. It's going to be offices for a large construction company, and next to it is going to be another brewery, if I'm not mistaken, where they brew beer on site, I think. That's what I read. I saw the plans and the drawings for it. It's going to be it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to take a little walk down here, a few steps, to see if I can get a glance at that thing, that brewery. Yeah. All right, here's the sign. Let me get under this tree. If you want to freeze the frame, you can read that. See where that YMCA right there is? There's Y on it. That building, that's going to be a brewery. Over there is Hotel Callista, brand new. It used to be the Elks Club. I'm told it's absolutely beautiful. That is the post office, the Norwich post office right there. I'm going to walk up a little bit and cross the street. Fit through here. I don't know. Ooh. Umbrella is going to get caught. All right, we're going to cross the street right here. Staircase leading up to the post office. There's a glance at it. Ah, uh, I hope my camera's not wet. I don't, I can't look at it. Let's see, Catholic Charities, that building, that brick building to the left, Diocese of Norwich, building, the Alice building next to that, SCAD is now in there. That is underneath the SCAD, it says, Proven Pathways to Recovery. All right, I'm just trying to read some of the signs around here. Building next to the SCAD, to the right of it, CLA Engineers, Civil Structural Surveying. 
this big giant parking lot over here. This is the back of Chelsea Groton Bank. As we continue to walk down Main Street in the heart of the city of Norwich, Connecticut, March 24th. Is it the 24th or 23rd? I'm sorry, folks, the 23rd, March 23rd, 2024. That big bus going by. Another wide view of some of the buildings across the street. Goats, greatest of all time sports center, restaurant, and wine bar. Right on the corner over there. If I took a hard right, I'd go up Cliff Street. Right over there is something, let's see, the Morosky Building. For the record, I am, my legs and feet are soaking, sopping wet. <laughs> but it's worth it. All right, let's cross. Big giant parking lot. Mural, new mural back there on the wall. I can't I can't go everywhere. I'm just trying to do the main street in Norwich on this rainy day if I can. And I think I've done most of it, but let's keep going. Dollar Flash. They're having a spring summer sale. Another little roadway that leads up to a parking lot. Heading back to the rotary. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta catch this. See that little sign on the ground there? The original opening doorway to Woolworths. We're at the corner of Franklin and Main Street. Right on the edge of that rotary. Some of the buildings off in the distance as we look at the rotary. Take a walk down Franklin. Let's cross. nice enough to let us go. It's an alleyway down there. There's a rotary again, different view, different angle. Former Woolworths across the street.
very wet on the ground back there. It's deep puddles. Looks like some rehab going on in this building, 206 Main Street. Hotel is right on my right to my right. It's literally, I'm, I could reach out and touch it if I wanted to right now. bank coming up here and on my right as the wind starts to kick up again. Reliance house. There you go. So there's a laundromat in there. Another alleyway. There it is right there. Dime Savings Bank. You can see City Hall straight ahead. Parking garage up there. The brick building to the right up there is the Knowledge Arts Center. Billy Wilson's Cafe, Billy Wilson's Aging Still. Let's get a look at that mural. In the rain. Actually, let's turn around and get a shot of this street down here. In the rain. It's pretty nice. It's like a river going down this street. All right, this is Bath Street. That's what I'm getting right now, a bath. If I'm not mistaken, this is Chestnut Street. This camera is pointing down to Chestnut Street. That's the building. It used to be SNAT, now it's Frontier. Churches and City Hall. Let's get a wide shot of that mural. All right, we're gonna head back to the car. We're gonna shut this thing down. Thanks for coming along on the wet and rainy walk around the city of Norwich, March 23rd, 2024. Should be interesting to see how this uh, little walk looks 
when I fire up the software to edit this video. United Congregational Church, those are the doors leading into that parish. Well, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for joining me, folks.